for Henry, how did you prepare for the character? I mean, if you see the series, you look different, you have long hair, you're, you're just different, right? Very in character. How did you prepare for that? The preparation for me, for Geralt, was a little bit inbuilt. As I say, I've been a fan of the fantasy genre since I was a boy, and my father would read to me before I could read, and it was always fantasy genre books, and every book I've picked up to read uh, just for the sake of reading for enjoyment in my free time has more often than not been part of the fantasy genre. And so when I came to playing the games, I was watching, playing the games thinking, how could I make this into a movie or a TV show? And then after I met with Lauren and read the books, it was all just, it all happened quite naturally, internally speaking. And then I had the good fortune of working with Lauren, who was so wonderfully, such an open book when it came to us discussing the character and to how he was going to look and what we we're going to, how we we're going to adapt it. And, and when we eventually got me in the chair and Jackie Rathor and Avila Mass, the girls in charge of actually making me look like Geralt, did such an incredible job that what I hadn't done preparation-wise or what I couldn't do preparation-wise uh, was finished off in that two-hour process every morning. And I'm, I'm incredibly thankful to those ladies for, for doing such a hard job, not just every day, but every night as well. They took their, their work home with them. And Jackie made sure that wig was looking perfect. There were three wigs, and they all went through different processes. And she was she was having nightmares about it, right, Jack? Where are you? <laughs> oh, she's here, Jack. Too. She's somewhere here. You have a round of applause for Jack. Three different wigs. So you fight with a sword here. Is the sword heavy? Can you explain to us how did you train with the sword fighting? How did you do all of this? Um, the sword was it heavy? Yes, to a degree. I mean, a real sword, a, a perfectly balanced sword, is is heavy to a point, but not that heavy. The trickiest thing about uh, fighting on set with a sword, with a real weight sword, is that you're not swinging through something. Um, you're not trying to actually kill someone or hit someone, and so stopping the sword is the trickiest bit. Um, because normally, if you just you do a swing and you carry it through behind you, did you whack anybody? I like, uh, not, not, not with a real one. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. no. Uh, when when you do stunt fighting, especially with the lightweight swords, it is. I mean, in an ideal world, you don't make contact with anyone's hands or anything, but if you're doing a very technical fight, then it's pretty much part of the course. You're going to make contact at some stage. All right, very, very nice. I have notes here, so but I won't forget my questions. Um, so, what are Gerald's secret powers? Uh, well, Gerald, aside from being um, incredibly fast, strong, great endurance, and long life than, than your average average human, he can also cast basic spells, and this is all part of a, a process which they gain from going through alchemical trials as boys and various amounts of training, and these spells are, they're not as strong as the kind of spells you'd have uh, sorceresses and sorcerers cast, uh, but when combined with their, their combat abilities and their physical prowess, they can be incredibly deadly. But Aside from all of that, I think Geralt's true secret power is his capacity to love and his belief in, in the world for being a better place, genuinely. What he presents to the world is, is not necessarily how he feels on the inside. So basically, Geralt is a lover boy. <laughs> he just likes to love. I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily choose those words. <laughs> But yes, he's, he's, he's a lover and a fighter. Yeah, because he looks really, really, really tough right there. But yes. Is he soft somewhere? Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's, got, he's got a very... What are you... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, I mean, he's... You know, okay. <laughs> they're, they're laughing at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Filipinos love you. Give a round of applause. 